हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल लर्निंग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ हाफ वेविंग इन द हाफ वेव कंट्रोल रेक्टिफायर एंड नीड ऑफ फ्री व्हीलिंग डायोड इन द हाफ वेव कंट्रोल रेक्टिफायर विद इंडक्टिव लोड सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड ऑल्सो प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो डेट यू कैन गेट मोर अपडेटेड वीडियोज फ्रॉम हियर First, we are going to see the concept of half waving. Phenomena of half waving is only seen in the half wave control rectifier with inductive load or RL load. It is not seen in the half wave control rectifier with resistive load. So, as we have studied half wave control rectifier with inductive load in the last class for the duration of this. beta for which the scr remains in the negative half cycle of the input voltage depends on the capacity of the inductive load to store the energy that means if the capacity of storing the energy of the inductive load is high then this beta duration will be high and if the capacity of storing energy of the inductive load is low then the beta duration in which the scr remains in the negative half cycle will be low now this half waving phenomena is only seen when the large inductance is connected in the load that means if we have large inductance inductive load then only we can see the half waving phenomena so if the inductive load is very large then there is possible that the inductive load may not turn off at all in the negative half cycle also as shown in the figure and up to the instant of triggering in the next positive half cycle also the inductive load is not turn off that means due to the stored energy in this large inductive load the scr will not go to off condition even in the negative half cycle and up to the limit of next firing angle that means we will get the output voltage or the load voltage is equal to input voltage that means the output load voltage signal waveform will be equal to the input signal waveform when we have connected the large inductive load across the output but this half waving is not at all practically possible because for this if load current is assumed constant then the time for which the energy is returned back is longer than the time for which it is stored so practically this is not possible but when the inductive load is very high then this beta duration increases so to overcome this half waving phenomena we use the free wheeling diode across the inductive load in the half wave control rectifier so this free wheeling takes place due to stored energy in the inductive load so as we have discussed the problem of half waving can be overcome by including a free wheeling diode across the inductive load in the half wave control rectifier with rl load or inductive load so in this diagram you can see the free wheeling diode is reverse connected across this rl load and due to this free wheeling diode only this scr goes into the off condition during negative half cycle of the ac input voltage and because this free wheeling diode takes the stored energy of this inductive load during the negative half cycle of the ac input voltage and it remains on in the negative half cycle of the ac input voltage therefore this scr goes into the off condition during negative half cycle of the ac input voltage therefore the load voltage will never become negative in the negative half cycle of the ac input voltage also so this is the use of the free wheeling diode in the circuit of half wave control rectifier with inductive load now let us see the advantages of free wheeling diode used in the half wave control rectifier first one is input power factor is improved second load current waveforms becomes more smoother by using the free wheeling diode third one is the load performance is improved due to smoother load current and last as we have seen just now the load voltage or the output voltage never becomes negative in the negative half cycle of the ac input signal also due to the presence of free wheeling diode because this free wheeling diode takes the energy stored in the inductor and helps the scr to turn off during the negative half cycle of the ac input voltage so hope you have understood the topic thank you very much for watching in the next class we are going to study half wave control rectifier with free wheeling diode